Tarrier Square, where their revolution began more than two years ago, they could celebrate its sequel. The numbers in Tahrir Square had grown all day. All walks of Egyptian life, young and old, middle class to the poor. Farmer Mansour voted for President Morsi, but regrets it, he says, not least because of Egypt's failing economy. There's no gas to make our machines work, he told me, or the plants die. What can people do? Children have no milk, no medicine, nothing. They'd come to relaunch their revolution, accusing their elected president of hijacking it and seemed confident of victory. But there was tension too. Despite the support of the military, they were uneasy about what President Morsi's supporters might do next. We are all worried about what the Brotherhood is going to do because they will not let it easy to go from their hands and their supporters are ready to do anything. I'm worried about the Egyptian people who are dying every minute and I'm worried about the injuries and the blood that you're going to see at night. By night though, people were only celebrating their revolutionary encore. their latest villain mocked and deposed. So for a second time in two and a half years, the Egyptian people have thrown a hated leader out of office. But this time they leave a nation divided, a revolution in crisis and real fears of violence to come. The military is promising strength and stability. That may yet prove another illusion. What's at stake now is the democratic promise of the Egyptian revolution and with it the Arab Spring. Here there was just elation and relief. These people believe they've reclaimed their revolution and with it a second chance. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Cairo.